Hi guys and welcome to our new episode. I'm Nehele Lely and today we're going to discuss the effect that the digital world has in writing. So this topic is actually very interesting and I personally did a lot of research about it before making this video because it's one of those topics that people have different point of views and different opinions about as does every topic of course but it's also one of those topics that doesn't really have a right or wrong answer to it. And of course just like everything in the world it has its advantages and its disadvantages. So to me, it was really interesting to sort of dig deeper and understand people's different opinions and their different perspectives. I didn't just want to share my opinion. Instead, I wanted to combine these different point of views and sort of find a neutral answer to this topic. So you guys probably know by now that almost everything has become digitalized. And it's true, technology is taking up a major part of our lives. Did you guys know that the average person uses technology almost every day for at least four hours? So yeah. <laughs> so how is the digital age affecting writers and writing? Now I'm going to take you guys on a nostalgic trip back when we were in kindergarten and in first grade. I'm pretty sure we all learned the writing process. So if you guys search this online, you'll see that some people say it's a four, five, six, even a seven step process, but I just want to focus on the five basic steps that we could probably all agree on. So we got pre-writing, writing, revising, editing, and publishing. Pre-writing is when you find your idea, you build it, and then you set a plan and a structure for how the story goes. Writing is when you put that plan into action and you actually start writing, so it's sort of like a rough draft. Revising is when you add, remove, replace, or rearrange details from that rough draft. Editing is when you look for grammar mistakes, punctuation, spelling, repetition, and all that stuff. And publishing is when you're finally done with writing your book and you actually publish it. And then, of course, you could celebrate your achievement. So in the pre-writing step, we're always looking to gain more inspiration. And that's where technology comes in because technology offers us a variety of resources. And if you guys remember, in my very first video, I told you that you can be inspired by almost anything around you. So you could be surfing the web and see a post, a video, a picture, uh, see a real life story or the news and be inspired to write. Now for the writing step, most of us don't really have time or we forget to actually sit down and write. And especially if you're a full-time, if you're not a full-time writer, then you're probably busy all day. And that is where productivity tools actually help us. So you could download any productivity tool on your laptop or on your cell phone and customize a to-do list and also set a timer to remind you uh, to sit like at least one hour before you have dinner and one hour before you go to sleep and write. And trust me, if you do that, by the end of the month, you'll have a lot written down. And then we go to the revising step. So we're always looking to gain feedback and sometimes we don't know what to what to revive well, like what to remove or what to add in the story and we want to sort of like spice it up a little bit. So there are thousands of people online or and online groups where people will be more than happy to help and to provide their feedback. Now for the editing step, instead of hiring an editor and actually paying a lot of money, you can always download grammar editors. You could download either a free version or a premium version and pay a small amount of money, but trust me, it's totally worth it because grammar editors find and fix um, the errors really quickly. And a lot of writers actually use grammar editors. And then we move on to the last step, which is publishing. So the good news is anyone can actually become a published writer. Technology has made it so easy for us to share our work by providing us with social media platforms, blogs, and websites. So you can create your own Facebook page or your own Instagram account and share your, wor share your work online. And you can also market and advertise for your writing or for your book. You can also create your own blog and share your writing. And there are thousands of websites where you can share your work and actually get feedback. Fuji is actually one of the best platforms where you could share your work with people from all over the world and get feedback and you also get to connect with millions of people, millions of women from all over the globe. And I like to save the best for last. So I'm not sure if you guys heard of this, but there's something called KDP and that stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. So it's basically self-publishing on the Kindle store. 
You guys get to choose whether you want to publish your book as an ebook or as a printed version, and you also get to set the price. So basically, technology has increased the level of exposure and opportunities for writers and for artists in general, really. But of course, everything comes with a price. Some of the disadvantages include plagiarism and copyright, people with fake accounts, and privacy concerns. Another major disadvantage is that, and it actually puts writers at risk, is that people don't like to read long posts or they don't write, like to read books anymore. But does that make writing any less important? The answer is no. Because let me tell you something, or let me ask, actually ask you a question. Behind every short movie or behind every video that you see, what do you find? A script. And let me tell you something else. There are certain messages and emotions that can only be described in writing, that no picture or video could ever grasp. Now another disadvantage that, and it's actually one of the biggest disadvantages for most people, is that some people don't like sharing their personal work. They feel that they're, they'll be vulnerable. And it's 100% true. I was actually one of those people. I never wanted anyone to see my personal writings. But somehow I got the courage and I shared my work online. And let me tell you, it was the best feeling ever. I took every feedback, whether it was positive or negative, and used it to my advantage. So my advice for you would be, Take that risk and share your work with the world. Despite the drawbacks, use the digital age to your advantage. Get your name out there. So join Fujia or use KDP, create a Facebook account or an Instagram account or do all of those and share your work. Because trust me, even if you get one positive review, or if one person could relate to your piece of writing, that is enough. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was beneficial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe below and wait for our next episode. Also, I'd love it if you guys would share with us in the comments below how do you use the digital age to your advantage. Bye!